so we saw some uh, dilution we saw some calculation of uh, molarity in aqueous solutions now let's do some questions on uh, neutralization reactions and a few on gravimetric analysis calculate the concentration of hcl if 35.7 mL of 0.52 molar sodium hydroxide completely neutralizes 20.0 mL of HCl. So this is a reaction between an acid and base. So that's why we call it as a neutralization reaction. Use the same formula M1V1 equals M2V2. And I take 0.52 molar sodium hydroxide and 35.7 sodium hydroxide. They combine together and it is uh, uh, I need to get the concentration of HCl. So divided by the volume of HCl, I get the molarity of HCl. Calculate the volume of 3.50 molar sodium hydroxide required to completely neutralize 425.0 milliliter of 4.50 molar sulfuric acid. So start the reaction by writing the neutralization reaction between sodium hydroxide and sulfuric acid. And before you start uh, doing the question, remember to balance it. Now, volume of NaOH can be calculated as shown over there. The first step is I'm converting, uh, it, uh, I'm getting the moles of sulfuric acid. Then the moles of sulfuric acid is converted into moles of sodium hydroxide using the equation. Uh, the one mole of sulfuric acid takes in two moles of sodium hydroxide. Then that has been converted into liters by dividing it by the molarity. And hence, volume of sodium hydroxide comes as 1.09 liters. Calculate the percent by mass of sulphide in a 0.758 gram sample of an ionic sulphide. I don't know what uh, metal it is, which when reacted with excess lead nitrate gives the precipitate of PBS of mass. 1.250 grams. So to start the question, I need to uh, find out the how much of sulphide, uh, the percent by mass of, or how much of sulphide is there in PBS. So I will take the average atomic mass of sulphur and divide it by the molar mass of PBS, and I get the mass of sulphide in uh, PBS. So the mass of precipitate is 1.250. So that is PBS. The mass of PBS is 1.250. So using the calculation just done, I can calculate the mass of sulphide in the precipitate. And that is the mass of PBS, mass of sulphur in PBS times the mass of PBS separated out. And once I calculate that, and that is coming as 0 0.1675. So whatever the sulphide I have here, it should have come from the original compound only. And the original compound, the mass is 0 0.758. Therefore, the percent by mass in the ionic compound will be the mass of sulphide divided by the mass of compound which is given over there times 100. So, this question is little uh, complicated from the way it is worded. But it's not so difficult. Just go through it one more time. You will be able to uh, get the feel of it. What I did was I just calculate the mass of sulphide in PBS using the molar mass and atomic mass and that was converted into how much sulphide I will have in the PBS precipitate uh, that the number using the number given over there then after that um, this sulphide should have come from the ionic compound and hence dividing it by the mass of ionic compound will give you the uh, percent by mass calculate the mass of hydrogen produced when 8.25 gram of aluminum reacts with 500 milliliter of 1.5 molar HCl. Let's start the question by writing the equation and remember to always balance the equation. And then the concentrations are not given, hence first calculate the uh, limiting agent for, uh, for the reaction. So the moles of aluminum comes as 0 0.306 and moles of hydrochloric acid comes as 0 0.750. So from the equation, you can see that for every uh, 2 moles of aluminum, I need 6 moles of HCl. Or other words, I need 3 times the HCl. And 3 times the moles of aluminum means I should have had around 
0.9 moles of HCl but I have only 0.75 and hence HCl is the limiting agent. Once you get the limiting agent, use the limiting agent and the equation to calculate the grams of hydrogen. Of when 40 milliliter of 0.155 molar silver nitrate and 20 milliliter of 0 0.0985 molar sodium carbonate are combined, how much of uh, silver carbonate solid forms? So, I start with writing the equation and balance it also. Silver nitrate aqueous reacts with sodium carbonate gives you silver carbonate, and it's already mentioned in the question that silver carbonate is the solid form. And uh, sodium nitrate will be in, in the aqueous form because all sodium salts are soluble. So, first calculate the moles of silver nitrate and moles of sodium carbonate to get the limiting agent. So, when you see that, when you calculate the limiting agent, um, uh, you, see, uh, you realize that I need uh, 0 0.0031 moles of sodium carbonate to react with uh, the given moles of silver nitrate. Since I have the amount of silver carbonate, uh, so, so sodium carbonate is less. Sodium carbonate is the limiting agent. And uh, using the value of the limiting agent, calculate the mass of silver carbonate formed. Uh, uh, first start with the moles of sodium carbonate and then convert the moles of sodium carbonate to moles of silver carbonate using the equation. Then uh, use the molar mass of silver carbonate to convert it to grams of silver carbonate.